Hi, what's up? This is Paid to Talk Daily. I've been away for a few months. <sighs> Maybe you can see that I'm in a new location though, so that's that kind of is um, one of the things I've been doing with my time. Welcome to another awesome video. Thanks for stopping by. I don't think I can really summarize everything that's happened. I probably could, but not off the top of my head. I've moved house. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Today I worked quite a bit, that's what I've been doing a lot as well lately actually. Work was supposed to be just, you know, supplementary, pay for my life, pay for the bills basically, but yeah, I, I don't know, like, I've been just trying to do as much as I can of it I suppose because I kind of realised I need a little bit more money than <laughs> bare minimum. I've been working as a delivery driver for, uh, since June full time, and before that I did it for like a month before just to try it out. So yeah, pretty much since June, and it's now November. That's like more than five months, or four months. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, that's something I can talk about. Tiger went missing for a couple of days last weekend, and I didn't know where he was. I thought he'd run away, but it confused me a lot, because something must have really gone wrong for him to run away, because he normally, he follows me around, you know. So when I come home, you know, he's waiting for me. So for him to run away... It didn't make sense. Like, I was, I could hear him, but I thought maybe I was imagining it, but I knew I could hear him, but it's very faint. Basically, the story begins, I put him outside in the early morning because the two cats were making a lot of noise because Tiger never used to be inside at night. He used to always be outside. Kitty was inside that way. They were separated. Moving to a new house, I couldn't really do that because I was worried about what might happen. But this one night, I was like, okay, they've been here for a week. I think he can go outside now, they're making a lot of noise. So 4am I put him outside. And then I wake up, you know, the next day, not sure, might have been 8, 9, 10, something like that. And he was nowhere to be found, so I'm like, okay, he's run away. Maybe he got attacked by one of the cats and he couldn't come inside, so he went somewhere else. Which, to be honest, is probably what happened. But anyway, I couldn't find him, so he didn't show up, I was really worried. That night, I came home, and I could kind of hear this faint me out and I'm like calling out his name and I'm like looking in the bush and stuff because I thought maybe he was in the bush but he wasn't there and then I didn't hear it again still thinking he'd run away <laughs> and then the next day it was actually the next day it might have been already night time the next day and I, I was like saying you know their food time thing that I say and I could hear I heard that faint call again I'm like okay he's under the house so I looked there was a bit of the house that was coming up, so I looked in there and no, he wasn't there. And then I realised that I'd put these bricks back that were covering the drain, because we were fixing the drain the day before. And so I took the bricks away, and it take two seconds later, he emerged out from under the house, under the drain, this drain hole. There's obviously only one place where you can go under the house with our new house, and it was through this hole that was temporarily open. So <laughs> he got stuck under the house, and I'm, yeah... I'm just glad that we got him out when we did. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's the story, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's been a couple of months, so the, you know, the list of things that I always try and do in a day, I haven't really been doing that either. I didn't do that today. Even if I went through the list, it probably would be, no, nah, didn't do that, didn't do that, didn't do that. So yeah, anyway, I've got some dinner that I've cooked up in the microwave to eat, so I'll go have that and... Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow because this is a daily thing. Have a good day or night wherever you are and catch you later.